All right, yeah, let's make a quick one. So, the writer's strike again. Yeah, we were able to survive after 2006, 2007, but we had so many taken away from us. So many movies. And people are like, no, you shouldn't blame the writers. I'm like, no, no, I, I blame the damn ass writers because y'all guys are bastard ass sons of hoes. I understand you need to have money, but damn, can't half of you still work and half of you freaking them strike, you know? Because there's some that's very, very important that should have existed. And because of that, it never will happen because somebody died. The one that really actually makes me say, fuck you writers, is Mrs. Dowfire 2. They slated Mrs. Doubtfire 2 to happen in 2009. That got scrapped because of the damn writer's strike. And then in 2013, just before Robin Williams decided to say goodbye world, he agreed that Mrs. Doubtfire 2 should happen and it was in the works. But, well, if you think about it, if you would have done it four years ago and not y'all guys don't be dumbass bastards and didn't make a strike, we would have a Mrs. Doubtfire 2. Not sure we have a third one. I think the third one would most likely get destroyed. Consider, yeah, you know, you can't change what happens when it comes to time. He would leave eventually, and at least we would have Mrs. Doubtfire too. At least we will have that. But yeah, I don't even dare to read. Look for what happened. I don't dare look at freaking them that website again and see which movies coming out when and stuff because it will just be more heartbroken than I am right now anyways the main topic at hand is this this writer's strike is not even about the damn ass money <laughs> yes folks I think I am correct on this because I heard it and it makes more sense is that the writer's strike is not about the fucking money Yes, it is more about them to put restrictions on AI because AI had now become to the point of where it can be used as a tool and many of your jobs can be freaking taken away by AI technology. The funniest part of it is, is that you can't really strike if they can straight up just do it right now. I mean, seriously, they could easily just say, oh, y'all guys not working. You're not coming to work. OK, AI system activate. Fub this, do it. <laughs> it's like, yeah, they could take someone who isn't a writer and freaking do the shit. And then you just freaking ruin your idea because they're trying to actually curve using AI to write scripts and etc. And comedic material and stuff. But the thing is that if you're not at work and of course, many of them do agree. It's like, yeah, many of the shows freaking stopped. But that doesn't mean that the movies and everyone else. And you're like, you need to put restrictions on that. And we don't want to lose our jobs. And it's like, but if you're doing a strike, technically your job is now in peril. Because, you know, they could easily be like, hey, get an AI. Get AIs up in this. Let's make it. And they just need someone to revise it to make sure if it actually is good enough or it's not tolerable enough. I mean, y'all guys, again, are fucking yourselves over. Seriously, you're kind of fucking yourselves over and you're basically screwing every single one of us as freaking viewers because movies have to be delayed now. Shows have to be delayed. And I'm like, please don't. Okay, don't give freaking James Gunn a reason to be like, oh, yes, and Superman and Lois is now canceled. Yep, the writers made sure that we knew that we could just cancel it like that because y'all guys decided to stop. We're good enough for just easily just cancel it. Good job, writers. Thank you so much for helping. <laughs> it's like, my gosh, it's like, yeah, they could easily just end the show like that. And I'm like, and you're telling me you can't just. Why couldn't you strike when The Walking Dead is ending? You know, it's like the writers of that should just walk out. Personally, I'm just saying this. There's shows and movies that actually depend on them. They still continue going. They should still go. It should still continue. 
the ones that actually were like, eh, it ran so long. Do we really need it? They can walk out. <laughs> it's like, look at the freaking Simpsons, which no, I don't want you guys to walk out. And they didn't. And they're done for this year. They might be starting to do so the next year, but I'm pretty sure they might join the strike in right now, too. And I'm like, they're still actually, yeah, they've been renewed for two more years. So it's like, just no worries there. But still, if you're going to strike, I'm going to walk out and do the strike. Please do on something that actually deserves to be canceled or deserves to be like gone, you know, and the Walking Dead series. Technically, you should go. I mean, you lasted this long, and now here, here I am looking, and it's like, yeah, we're making a new spinoff show. I'm like, really? You're making another spinoff damn ass show? And it's like, the worst part is the ones that deserve to get canceled, but they can't because they don't need writers for it. Like Survivor, Big Brother, don't need it. <laughs> they don't need freaking writers. I'm like, this sucks. Uh... It's like, yeah, when will we get to the point where it's like the ones who actually do shows that's like they've been on so long, they finally strike. It's like, yeah, where's the freaking um filmmaker strike? <laughs> I know that ruin stuff, but TV wise, it would be a success because some reality shows or mostly all of them need to go if they've been here for 20 years already. She's gonna get it.